Hi, today I want to continue the series about the ESP32 and the free real-time operation system, also called Free RTOS, and especially the API around the inter-task communication. And I will continue with event groups. And if you don't have seen the last video about queues, so please watch this first. So this don't rely on the first video, but it's better for the understanding of the intertask communication because the event groups are a lightweight option if you don't need the functionality of a queue and only want to synchronize some events. So let's start by an example. If we create an event group, we can create it with even 8 bits or a big one with 24 bits. And as we see, there's no message we can store. We can only set or read the bits of a event group. And if we now start one task and a second task, then one of the tasks can set one or more bits of the event group and the other task can wait till one or more than one bit is set in the event group. And if you play with the Wi-Fi example, there's an example for the usage of the event groups because all your own tasks wait for the set of the bit of the Wi-Fi connection and don't start before any of the Wi-Fi connection is established. And the usage of the event groups may become clearer if we have a look at the second example. The second example we also generate or create a event group and then start one, two and a third task. And now we want to synchronize all the three tasks. So all the tasks do whatever they want to do and then the first task begin to listen to the event group and listen to the bit of the second task and listen to the bit of the third task and then also set the first bit so that all other tasks are informed that the first task is ready and now waiting for all other tasks and then the second task maybe is ready for the calculation or whatever they do and then also so reads the bits of the first task and the third task and also set the ready bit of its own tasks. And then maybe the third task is also ready and do the same. Read the first and the second bit and also set the third bit. And at this time all tasks are ready and now they are synchronized and all the bits are released and all the tasks can do whatever they do after the synchronization. So before we now go to the code example, I first introduced the API calls and we have first one to create a event group and also to set the bits of the event group or clear the bits of the event groups and also to wait of the setting of one or more bits of the event group. And also, as mentioned in the second example, we can use the group synchronization and there are many more. For example, you can also delete the event group, get some bits without waiting for them. And there are also the from ISR versions that are called from an interrupt. So here we see our example. First, we have our header block with the ESP32 and the free RTOS header files. And then we also define a event group for later usage. And we have two bits that we can set in two tasks if we want. And here's the color output I use for a clearer display. And now let's look into the main routine. First of all, we print out some debug information then we create a event group with x event group create then we also print out some memory usage information and we first start by creating one task that set the event group and another task that receive the event group and let's have a look at the task so first we start our task number one our sending task and the task just loops in an endless loop and print out some color messages 
switches and it sets the first bit of the event group and then just delay 10 seconds. And the second task do just the same. The only difference it prints out of a different color and waits seven seconds instead of 10. And now have a look at our receiving tasks. The receiving task starts by defining a variable to receive the event bits. And then after printing out some messages, it starts by calling event group wait bits and just wait for the setting of the first and the second bit. The second bit is not necessary now, but it's set for the later usage. And as we see, we are clear all bits after we are ready and receiving one of the bits. We don't want to wait for all the setting of all bits. We just wait for the setting of one bit. And we can see in later if there's a difference if we set this setting to true. So if one bit is set, then we print out our debug message. And if no bit is set, then there's some error occurred by receiving our event group bits. So let's start by building this example and flushing it to our ESP32. So I start up a terminal window and just press make flash monitor. So and then we can see what's going on after we start our ESP32. And we start the transmitting tasks and the receiving task and the receiving task wait for the transmitting task to set our event group. And it waits till the 10 seconds is over and the first task set the event group again and then waits another 10 seconds and so on. That's a little boring and I just start now a second task with a delay of 7 seconds and then we can flash this version into our ESP32. So now let's start again. Now we start one task and a second task and the receiving task is waiting for either one or the other. And if both bits are set, we are also informed that both tasks are set. It. Now the second task is faster and sent this message than the first task and the second task again than the first task. And now we also see that the second task is notified two times before the first task is received. So. Now another change of our example. I show you the synchronized task. So now we can set the wait for all bits to true. And now we can see the difference between the two versions. So I uncomment this and we don't start the receiving task. Now we start the synchronized receiving task. And it's just the same. The only difference is that we just set the wait for all bits to true. Now let's save our example and flash it again to our device. And now let's see the difference. So we first start our first task and the second task and now our synchronized receiving task waiting for both of them. So even if the second task is notifying and the also the first task is notifying, only if both of them are notified or set the event group bits, then the third task runs again. So we are also waiting for both and then print out our debug message. So wait again and this time the second task is run twice, but that makes no difference. We wait for the first task. And as you see, our receiving task runs again if both of the other tasks are ready with whatever they do. Now let's see the synchronize example with three tasks and they all synchronize themselves. So I open this prepared example and as always we have our header block and now we define three bits for our event group for every task one bit. And let's start by the main routine. We just also define the event group and then start even one, two, three tasks and all of the tasks do the same. They loop in an endless loop and call the event group sync function and the first task set the first bit and waits for all the other bits. And we can also set a maximum wait time for maybe 60 seconds. And if the 60 seconds is over, 
and not all of the tasks are synchronized, then we receive an error message. Or if all bits are set in the correct time, then we just print out our message and loop again in the endless loop. And this time the first task delays for five seconds, the second task delay for seven seconds and the third task just do the same and delays for 10 seconds. So let's open up our terminal window and flash our device. So let's start our example and we see that one, two, three tasks are started. And even if the first task only delays for five seconds and the second task delayed for seven seconds, all of the three tasks are waiting for the third task that are delays for 10 seconds. And so only if all of the delays are over, they all get synchronized and then the whole delay is start again. So. As we see, the first task is yielding, then the second task is yielding, and only if all three bits are set, the synchronization take place. So thanks for watching the video, and I hope you learned something and enjoy the video. I wish you a nice day, and bye bye.